Hello, this is Todd Martin from Solid Shell Security, and I'm back with another video. However, this is not a Python programming video or anything to do with programming necessarily. Uh, this is about the Google Public DNS. Um, Google spends a lot of money to provide a public DNS, and if you want to read some about its benefits, I will provide a link down in the description of this video. Um, the DNS can help for faster browsing, some caching, and stuff like that. I don't exactly know how to do it on my MacBook, but I do know how to do it in a Windows operating system. Um, another benefit, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a story, I was doing work in a dental office, setting them up with a server. I connected uh, their new server to a network switch. It had access to the local area network, but it didn't have internet access. So I set it to use the Google Public DNS, and bam, I had internet access. So if you have problems with that as far as networking, sometimes doing that will help and fix the issue. Uh, this should work in XP, Vista 7, and probably Windows 8 also. Go to the control panel. Network and Sharing Center. Let's right click this connection here. It's going to be a little slow. Come on. Don't be cold hearted. Alright, you'll get this. Go to properties and go down to internet protocol version 4 tcip slash forward slash ipv4 go to properties simply click use the following server address and the server address is 8.8.8.8 .8 and then the second one will be 8.8.4.4 click ok close close and bam you are using the google dns although you really can't tell And also does allow for a little bit quicker caching and along those lines. But it's a simple little Google hack. Um, there's also no filters or anything like that. It doesn't block any web pages whatsoever. And of course, I'm using VirtualBox, so this is going to load up slow. Not the best way to show this. But that's how you set to the Google public DNS server. Um, some downfalls are for some of you guys who are worried about Google kind of invading your privacy. Um, if that's the case, then you probably shouldn't use the public Google DNS. Um, if you don't care, if all you do is Facebook, YouTube, check your emails, like nothing, like nothing too serious, then you should be fine. So that's pretty much it for this video.